on the tee from Denmark, Rasmus Hoygaard. Tony, two different ways you can play this opening hole. We've seen the iron from Hisatsune, and Rasmus Hoygaard has taken the driver. Yeah, I don't think he can green it. He can get on the upslope. It's, it's whether he can, he can keep it on that upslope to make the pitch easier. He has the beating of the bunkers. That's great there. Wow. He's got to like this one. He scoped it. He's got a good feel for it. Yeah, it's not a difficult shot, is it? It's just sort of trying to sort of almost judge that cross slope bit once you carry that little ridge and it maybe just affected the mindset just a little. You've seen one already just slide by the right edge. Are you brave enough to do yeah, that? Yeah, Certainly is. So Rasmus Heigar moves clear of uh, David Law and Adrian Moronk into the solo lead here in the Ras Al Khaimah Championship. Camera angle can be deceptive. Often makes the ball look like it's taking off way right. It was a little right, but wow. Yeah, it's cut through the, the wind, hasn't it? Like a knife. Full of confidence. 12 under, birdie the first. Oh, has a look. Sit down. Sit. Cool, we've seen that a lot this week so far. So hard to really f make yourself hit it up that right hand side. It looks like no more than a 9-iron to me. So we, I think he's hoping for a flyer and got one. And that's been the issue this week, isn't it? Opt in to putt it back towards the front of the green. We might play a little bit up the hill. Gets a little bit fast once past the hole, back down towards the water. Yeah, it's not a bad effort at all from there. That is the way he putts. So he joins Lombard in a share of the lead. Should only be a seven iron, really. Very long with his irons. He works on around about 200 yards with that seven. Thank you. And that's perfect. <laughs> Rasmus is good to watch when he's on. Twenty-three fifty-five yards. Flag up towards the back. Oh my goodness. I mean when you've got that sort of power. Man, you can tear golf courses apart. Mm. It's actually the royal floor, isn't it? It's a whole floor of the apartment. You keep mentioning it, Johnny every chance <laughs> <laughs> oh oh miss reed good for pace but miss reed a rare miss from rasmus hoiger up one to six rasmus hoiger we get this pretty close down the right half. You get a bounce on this. There you go. Don't go that far on your holidays, Tony. <laughs> Not there and back. Fantastic. Wow. 166 yards. Strong breeze off the right and down. Little nine iron for Erasmus here. Oh, Very good. That's the best we've seen. Taking it on, you can see from that angle, but it's a hard pin to get close to. A little more straightforward here for Rasmus Hoygaard. Yeah, he got a good bounce, didn't he? Just got that into pin high. sideways didn't Victor would you ever use hybrid or three wood for that sort of shot it used to be a very popular shot in the sort of 
early to mid 2000s but doesn't seem as popular now and this time he does make the birdie he's had a few chances over the last few holes but that was a relatively easy one wasn't it i bet he hits this to 15 feet just left and roll one in to take the lead yeah pins back four from the right so certainly just maybe just favoring just a little left but yeah, driving wise, then the gain is, is definitely on the ground than it is ball flight. I hope he makes the putt now. Yeah, well, you're bang on with where you said, so. Pressure, pressure. Yeah. Quit while you're ahead. Quit while you're ahead, Victor. <laughs> I may just leave now before I say something wrong. Perfect tee shot for our leader. Normally means he's tweaked it left. Yeah, work to do there. There's quite a big ridge up that left side of that green. Yeah, greens are a little, just a fraction quicker than they were the first two days, but that'll be down to just the wind and the, and the constant sunshine that we get in this part of the world. Is a par putt. Gosh, I was just about to say if he holds that, that could be the difference. His brother just missed one. That's bogeys for both Hoygars in the last five minutes or so. <coughs> Don't fall off your chair, but it's a seven iron down the breeze here, Tony. I'm just getting back up with my chair. I'll be all right. No problem, makes the birdie. So we're back within one of Xander Lombard at the top now. Into this narrow ferry, but you've got a bit of leeway. The first cut rough is non existent, really. It's about three yards wide either side. So it adds to the width of this hole. Nice. Just in a First little cut. 138 yards for Rasmus. Got my crystal ball late. I reckon this is straight at it. Oh, Johnny, spot on. How do I know that? Called it late. <laughs> Don't give away your secrets, Johnny. Being teased. Teased. He's at the touch of the nears today, isn't he? Which is worrying for the rest of the field considering he's one behind. Yeah, he starts draining those tomorrow. They're going to be hard pressed to contain him, I think. Time to rock and roll. Just aiming this. The centre of green. It needs to take its course. This is way right. Oh. He, and he was aiming so far left. Well, I think he was trying to cut it to get the line, Big to get cut. the flight, wasn't yeah. he? And overdid it. Nice. Beautiful. He will get his car. Got a little confused there, Dominic. Oh, well worked out in the end, Tony. <laughs> we all do it. <laughs> Makes his time. It is a round of uh, 68 on Saturday here in Ras Al Khaimah for Rasmus Hoygaard. Well, he will have a chance, won't he, to win for the fourth time in his young career. Asma <coughs> started the day in a three-way tie for the lead, ended it one behind. Just give us your summation of your day. 
Well, today I played a lot better. Uh, I was better uh, from the tee box, had some good uh, approach shots. Um, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a pretty good day. In the end, a pretty good par at the last time and found the water in two. Tell us about the second shot, because obviously yeah. didn't get a plan. Um, I had a decent lie in the rough, but it was, it was a weird, awkward distance to the hole there, so I thought I could just uh, take a two iron and then chase it up. Um, yeah, if, if, looking back, it wasn't the smartest decision, but I was trying to set up a, a good birdie chance. How did the course play compared to the previous two days? Is it firming up and getting a bit more difficult? Yeah, it is firming up a little bit. It's hard to hit the fairways. Yeah. They're very narrow, um, and the wind was up as well. So, um, yeah, I think the course is firming out. Yeah. You have the opportunity tomorrow to follow your brother as champion here. He potentially could be coming down the stretch with you in contention as well. Give us your thoughts on all of that. Yeah, I was uh, I was looking at the leaderboard out there. I saw he was up there. Um, yeah, it would have been fun if we were going out together and, and, and battle. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and see, see what it's going to bring. We will wish you luck with that. Thank Thanks you. very much. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.